What's going on, guys? Shalom. Shalom, shalom. Hope all is well with you guys. I'm in the car, of course. Another day. Man, if any of you guys are familiar with uh, fasting, <coughs> we all know how tempting it is to eat when you um fasting sometimes. And I can say the enemy, one thing, the enemy definitely um try to provoke you to be to eat food when you you know when you're fasting. And uh, sometimes, man, it hurts. When you um, dedi- when you when you honor- when you honoring God and dedicating, you know, your time with Him and honor Him through fasting, and you know, fighting the flesh by not eating or drinking and like juice and things like that, you uh, you strengthening your, your spirit, man, and you you you're strengthening your spirit to overcome your flesh, because of course the flesh. You know, it has the the flesh has no holds bars to it. It wants to it wants to do everything that's rebellious. It wants to eat. It wants to stuff. It wants you to stuff yourself. It wants you to it wants you to be sinful. It wants you to you know indulge in sex, sexual morality, murder, uh, anything that any everything all the above. That's why the, the flesh is really abominable, and uh, we can only stay pure through um, through the Holy Spirit. That's why, you know, having a relationship with Jesus Christ is so important. Because um, if you don't, you will become subject to the law and to the world. You don't want to, you don't want to be of the world. You want to be separate. You know, we don't. Um, Romans twelve two verse two say not to conform to the patterns of the world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. So when you fast, read the word of God. Um, while you fast, read the word. Pray, and uh, you even want you can even make a list. You can even write it down on paper, and you can um pray on uh things that you want to um pray on. Um, so yeah, like if you're going through family issues, you fast and you pray on a certain particular issue that you may be going through, or you can intercede for people, and it's very effective. And um, man, listen, when you fasting, that's another way for you to heal. From sicknesses and diseases, um, it quick the Holy Spirit quickens your body to overcome, you know, sicknesses, sicknesses and diseases. So the enemy, uh, Satan, that that thief, he um, he he's the reason why people get sick as well. And and all, of course, it's by the way we eat. But the enemy has he can use people that use you know that's into like uh, charms or spells. A person can, you know, curse you to be uh, sick and get diseases. And you can go to the medical doctors and try to get medicine for it. You won't get healed. So you'll find yourself going back and forth. And the doctor can't find no type of, um, no type of, uh, like, cure for it. So that's why it's important to have a relationship with God. Because, um, you know, when you have a relationship with God, he'll, he'll heal you from things that might take another person out that doesn't have a prayer life that doesn't believe in the Holy Spirit, that doesn't believe in Jesus Christ. So it's power in the name of Jesus, and it's power in the blood of Jesus Christ. And they need to talk about that more in churches, especially in America. They don't talk about that as much. Like other countries, that's in, you know, they believe in Jesus Christ. They are. They, like Africa, they are very, they are very, like, intentional with the blood of Jesus Christ. And it's power in the blood, and it's power in his name. So um, like uh, I got I got sick before, and I fasted before, and uh, it went away. And um, it's power in fasting. And God's Holy Spirit is you, when you bless holy oil, you bless your oil. It's power in the holy oil, and you can also bless your water. You can consecrate it to, you know, to be the blood of Jesus Christ as well. And this is another way for you to um. You can even spray it around your home, the blood of Jesus, and your anointed, the anointed oil. So you can you can speak into the holy oil, and the anointed oil and the, and the blessed water. So whatever you um you want to speak into it, like I'm blessed, I consecrate this water, I set it aside for um as as uh you know I set it aside for for sickness, for diseases, or any um you know bondage, and I bless it for the God. Um, I pray for the God that you. Flow through me with your Holy Spirit into this water, and Lord. I pray that you, you, you plant. You know, blesses water is the is the grace, the power, 
the anointing of God over me into this water. And um, you can say that as well. You can even say, um, I bless this water to be, I consecrate this water or oil to be a point of contact for healing or, or, or restoration, restoration of, uh, you know, spiritual gifts, spiritual strengths. So, you know, of course, the enemy can, uh, the enemy can take, the, the enemy is here not to kill, to steal, but destroy. So he wants everything. He wants to steal your, your blessings. He wants to steal your gifts from you, like singing wise. Yeah, even try to destroy that. So that's why you must claim out your mouth everything that that's yours, your blessings, your possessions, and everything. Because, you know, in this world, it's power in words. So, you know, when words take root, it is things things transpire. It's a transaction. So just like when you're going through, you know, doubt, fear, that's him speaking. Satan is a liar. So he, he's the master of all, of all lies. And um, so same way he's speaking, speaking to you. You had to speak life into your situation. You got to speak and shut him up because he's a lot. He's, he has spit lies into your head. So he'll plant seeds of doubt, fear in your mind. So you rebuke it. You cast You You, you silence him in the name of Jesus because you have authority. So it's, that's an everyday thing. You know, just like people, just like when you pray, when you wake up, there's evils that pray. into. They program evil to the day for things to um, go bad. So that's why it's important to pray. Um, forgive me for stuttering. I still, I'm working on that on a tongue tie thing. But uh, yeah, you can um, you gonna bless your oil and water to be a point of contact, a restoration and health, restoration of spiritual strengths and gifts, and you can use it as a point of contact as uh, you know, blessings as well, a testimony. You know, and uh, you can use the water, the blood of Jesus Christ to flush out sickness and disease. The enemy shoots arrows of sickness, and disease. Premature death, untimely death, you name it. Is is no is no length to it, you know. So use you can use the water. Um, and I have it right here. Right here. Hold on, you know where the other one? You know where it went? Now that I'm looking for it. That's funny. But I got this though. But, uh, like this. You can bless your water, and you can drink it. You know, and uh, it really do benefit. You can do this every day. So that's why people, um, when people do communion, that's why that communion is very powerful. You know, of course, and that's, you have to be holy. You can't, um, it's very detrimental to you if you indulge in communion and, and you're still living a, a rebellious life. So if you're still selling drugs and, you know, robbing and killing and stealing, it'll backfire that stuff is very serious so that's they don't talk about the seriousness of that in the church so they let anybody do the communion thing and uh yeah, they let anybody do the communion thing in church when them some folk they do the communion they go back outside you know you know do things that's really you know that's that's not of god you know so god wants us to be holy and righteous we still sin but as far as um like being uh obedient of the commandments he doesn't want people you know that's lying and cheating and stealing to be you know into communion because it's it's contradicting um what else uh so yeah fasting holy um blessed water and anointed oil and here it is right here. so you can bless this you set it aside for for um the blessed people to heal people who people going through torments in the mind and uh to break yokes of uh you know affliction or addiction to drugs or sex and um you can even bless it to be uh you know anything really because once God Holy Spirit is in us it do, it does wonders you know so you can use this every day whenever you feel weak you you anoint your your forehead you can anoint your, your feet your hands you know, your, your eyes even as well. You know, God wants us to see spirit. He wants us to be able. He wants us to be able to see in spirit. You know, He doesn't want us to be blind and ignorant out here, because there's people out here that's really.
and next time I'll, I'll, I'll show a prayer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, do a prayer on it because I do the prayers when I'm in, in the house as well. And, uh, when I use it, the medicine, the pain, the pain be falling off. It's really power in the Holy Spirit. We need to, you need to build your faith up and really believe that it's power in the um, anointed oil, or or else it won't work. And, uh, and uh, before you even even try to bless holy oil. Make sure you have a, 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 a real relationship with God, and you want to definitely, um, you know, welcome in your presence by worshiping and giving Him thanks first. And you always give God thanks first before you do anything. You give Him thanks. You say, "I bless your holy name. I thank you, Father God, for waking me up another day. Lord God, I thank you for giving me a chance to um, bless this this, uh, this oil. I set it as, I set it aside for for your purposes, for for your glory." Um, for God is the author and finisher of our faith. He's the great physician, so you can say that as well. And so um, you can help people through this. And uh, so it's power in the name of Jesus, power in the blood of Jesus Christ. And uh, it's, and it's Holy Spirit, it's power in it. And there's no other force stronger than uh, the Holy Spirit. No, for no darkness in this world is stronger than the Holy Spirit. And they don't teach about that enough in the churches. So it's, whole, it's power in the Holy Spirit. And darkness can't comprehend the light. Just know that when you when you when you walk with the light and you constantly feed yourself with light with the word of God, the, the darkness will flee from you. So um, as 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 much as this world is getting dark and darker, be the light. Make sure you're the light. So feed your life with with words of life and light. You know it's, it's power and uh, life and death is in the power of the tongue. So don't don't choose death. And even and even as far as complaining. Don't curse yourself by saying, I'm this, I'm that. When you're feeling something negative, don't give it energy by saying, I'm this, because you're feeding it. Speak against it. Override it with a scripture. Um, let me see. Let me see, let me see. For example, let me see. I'm a, I'm a, uh, let's see. Hmm. My phone, guys. I'm. I'm really. I was gonna read the scripture to you guys, but I'm freestyling right now. You really can. Um. Right. All right. You can say this. You can say, the Lord. Um. The word of God is a light to my path and lamp to my feet. That's the scripture as well. So God's word is a light to your path and a lamp to your feet. So of course, if you feel like everything is drying up in your life, you can even um say anything that's drying my life, Father God. Any dead thing in my life, I speak life into my finances. I speak light into my relationships. I speak light in every dark situation in my life. I speak light. Just like when God said in Genesis, he said, let there be light, and there was light. So it's uh, you got to use the scriptures as a point of contact and a prayer point. Because when you use the scriptures, it's, it activ it's activation. You know, just like people use spells and activate things, use the scriptures, the word of God, because this book is your, your sword. You know, it's a spiritual battle out here. This world is a, it's a warfare. And we gotta be, we, we gotta, we gotta wake up, so you can really get through in these times. And especially, you wanna be able to be a, you wanna be a provider and protect your children. They need you. You know, you can't protect them on your own. You need to use the word of God. You need to pray to God and allow Him to, you know, show His glory. So, um, yeah, as many times I got sick, and God redeemed me over and over. So, even if the enemy try to get you sick, God has the power through the Holy Spirit to revive you over and over. Over and over. So what would take others out, it won't take you out. Because you got faith in God's power. And uh, what, will, what will kill others won't kill you because you know you're protected. By God's um, his outstretched arms. He's your rock, he's your fortress. He's your refuge. Um, yeah, he's your strong tower. And the righteous run to it and, and they're safe. Uh, he's a high tower. He's, he's, a, he's a pleasant help when, when, when you're in trouble. Uh, when 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 men are, when men are cast down, there's a lifting up. So when 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 the righteous are cast down, he lifts them up. And we've seen that over and over, just by by generation and generation of of, of uh, the greats, people who were of God, that you know are, they were against all odds, and uh, God saved them. You know, uh, I can say for example, like Muhammad Ali, for example. Um, you know, he was. He was, he was, I can say, Muhammad Ali, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, um, uh, 
Harriet Tubman, I go on and on. They were against all the odds. Life was against them. And uh, and Jesus, I can definitely tell you, Jesus was on, on that side. Even if they didn't believe in Jesus, God was on that side. He gave them strength. He gave them endurance to get through the things they were going through. And I can say those during those times, it was more racist or more evil. But then again, history repeats itself, and the evil is going to be. It just, it just, it just comes back. It's just going to repeat itself, and that's what's going on. So, um, other than that, um, I'm not going to read the scripture as well, too. I'm going to, I'm going to read Ecclesiastes to you guys. The Holy Spirit, speak to me, Lord. I'm going to be clear. I'm going to, um, you know, um, speak words of wisdom. I mean, help, help me to speak the right words. That is clarity. That's a clarity. To speak, um, you know, to give them, a, you know, insight. And understand and help me um, touch your heart and soul the mind body in Jesus name I pray man so uh I just went to a random random uh scripture really so uh I can start from chapter 9 really it says for all this I consider in my heart even to declare all this that the righteous and the wise and their works are in the hand of God no man knoweth no no man knoweth either love or hatred by all this by all that is and before them all things come alike to all there is one event to the righteous and to the wicked to the good and to the clean, and to the unclean, and to him that sacrifices, and to him that sacrifices not. As is the good, so is the sinner. And he that sweareth, as he as, as he that feareth an oath. So, um, so for all this, I can send in my heart, even to declare all this, that the righteous and the wise and the works are in the hand of God. So everything that's, that's, so everything that's of truth, righteousness, and goodness is in the hand of God. So whenever you, you know, operate in the, in the spirit of God, the fruit of the spirit, you know, things of love, joy, peace, forgiveness, long suffering, uh, meekness, goodness, temperance, patience. Uh, you, you you walk in, in the things that's of God. That's the works of God. Um, so um wisdom, righteousness. Um you declare this over yourself. That's what he wants us to walk in. Wisdom, righteousness, goodness. It'll it'll do you more good to do to um operate in those things versus being full of strife and always trying to get get back at a person. God doesn't want us always Worried about, uh, I want to get back at this person because they stepped on my shoes or they looked at me wrong or they, they tried to, um, you know, get my girlfriend. You know, don't stoop low. We we, we don't want to stoop low. You want to be spiritually mature, spiritually wise, because it'll do you um, it'll do you way better. It'll get you two things that you don't have to, you know, stoop down low, and then you find yourself in a whole different other situation. So just try to operate and uh. Godly wisdom. God wants us to be of light. He wants us to be wise. He doesn't want us to be ignorant. Um, you know, because as long as you've been ignorant, that's more that that you know darkness can manipulate your life and take control of you. So even that even means like, if you might be in a family that's really not of God, but you might be the change for that generation. You know, sometimes you might have to separate yourself from them just so you can um bring bring home the bacon for them. And be an example and inspire them because you'll be the one to make a change. And you might, you might, uh, they're either going to be jealous, of course, or, you know, they're going to be inspired to, to follow after your footsteps. And that's, of course, through God. So through letting God work on your mind, spirit, soul, and body and let Him transform you through the Word and having a lifestyle that's of God, putting Him first and not putting Him last. So, um, you put Him first, don't allow this life to, you know, sway you to, be absorbed with the worldly lifestyles and things like that because it doesn't do you any justice, you know, because once you leave this life, you're going to go to heaven or hell. So why not do it the right way? You know, don't, don't, don't walk in the path of the scornful, the sinners of, uh, you know, so, uh, yeah, it, it even says this, um, all things come alike to all. There's one event to the righteous and to the wicked. So it's an event for bad people, good people, for the righteous the good, the clean, and the unclean, and to him that sacrifices. So sacrifice for the Lord, and it says it's, it's an event for the people who sacrifice not. It's an event for the good, and it's, a, it's an event for the sin as well. And he that sweareth, and for the one that feareth the, feareth the oath. So it says, this is an evil among all things that are done under the sun, that there is one event unto all. Yet also the heart of the sons of men is full of evil, and madness is in the heart while they live. And after that, they, they go to the dead. So, people that's uh, that's wicked and evil, they don't think about the future. They just 
don't think about the end result at all versus if you're spiritually sound have your spiritual understanding you got the holy spirit really really like thriving in you you will worry about the end result of the end of the road versus a person who's really worried about clubbing and drinking they seen they see, you know you know you ever notice people who live a life of like fast life they live as if they won't ever die or as if they won't you know bro and like uh perish because of the things they're going through so um yeah that's why i should never um it's really bad to murder people and things like that but god is a forgiver it doesn't matter what you do he uh he loves he loves everyone and um he's god is full of grace but we must repent that's the main thing we must repent from uh from the things that we do and think because it really can uh you really can hurt yourself <laughs> god doesn't want that so of course it's evil he said this is an evil among all things that are done under the sun yeah, there is one event unto all yeah also the heart of the sons of men is full of evil and madness is in the heart while they live and after that they go ahead so we're living in a world where you know the man the man man's heart is very wicked uh and man's mind is just very wicked continuously thinking evilly evil so um yeah we got to make sure we stay stay filled with the light god's holy spirit don't focus on the world don't be like the world separate yourself have a prayer life uh you know have a life of worship and uh make sure everything that you do is uh, um you find god first you know and it'll make things way more easier than uh you know making a lot of mistakes at the beginning stage you know it's, it's a lot of things you're gonna have to untangle yourself from so that's all i got my bad for the uh stuttering i really try to you know do it clearly make it clear with a clear voice but clear speech but that's what god is delivering me from that's one thing I can openly tell you guys, stuttering. And I didn't always used to stutter. You know, I started stuttering a lot as um, smoking a lot of weed, of course. And it's been a, a year and a half since uh, not smoking weed. I don't do that anymore. And God is, uh, he's been healing me ever since more and more. You know, I'm not, as, I'm not, I don't succumb under depression as much. He's definitely healed me from that. I was numb and depressive, depressed during those times, you know. He did a full 360 with me. You know, I have endurance out of this world because I don't smoke weed all day and all day, every day. So that stuff like that is just, it's a hindrance. You know, feed yourself something else. We don't have to drink, smoke weed every day, all week in the club because you're going to have to call account for everything you did, you know. So that's all I got. Well, God, I thank you for um, allowing me to speak another word. We gotta pray that we go stronger in you. We gotta pray that we focus on you more. Pray for every brother and sister that watch this video, Father God. I pray that we see they see deeper, the deep, the deeper things, oh God. Give them the insight and ears to hear. Oh God, help us to um know that you are you are a God of you know mercy, grace, and understanding and love, and you know you know our heart deeper than what others can see because you see within us, and it doesn't matter what people see on the outside. You know what's on the inside of us, Father God. So, pray you touch each and every man and woman that watches the video. Touch their heart, bless them, deliver them. Lord, let every yoke off their mind be broken. Let every chain be broken by the Spirit of the living God, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, I pray that you give them, um, you know, the fire and the desire and the zeal to walk the straight and narrow and to walk away from things that does that that, that exhaust itself against you and the, and the knowledge that you have. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hey, man. All right. Peace, guys.